Greetings from Rob Chatham, Zopup Gang Nam style. Niels, my buddy, the guy I found at the show. Yo, brother. Yo, buddy boy. What's up? So, uh, it's a shame you couldn't be here, but maybe next year. Yeah. Get you a pass. You get your ass over here, you f. <laughs> Lego making. <laughs> Hi, Dan and I were saying this is this is the nicest piece of wood we've seen so far in the show. I think it probably is. Uh, oh, that's really nice as well. Well, they're all very nice, but this that's, is stunning. Yeah, that's lush. Oh man! <laughs> wow! For fuck's sake! Who are you? That's I'm amazing. Robert. Nice to meet you, sir. Hi. Check the weight. Oh wow! You know, you look like a young, young, very young version of Eddie Kramer. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> how heavy that is? It's, it's nothing. No. That's no. ridiculous. No, I was feeling <laughs> yeah, really really how yeah. heavy it was. That's really nice. I, lo I love what you've done here. Yeah, the, the wooden effect pickup. It's very, yeah. very cool. Yeah. How much do these retail for? This is walnut then. 6,000 something. What is this, walnut on the top? Um, this is maple burr. Hungarian maple bar, one piece. Wow. And the back is a Corina, Corina neck, and it's semi That's why it's so light then, okay. Semi very, very nice. Wow. Awesome. And we have a flame maple binding on the fretboard. It's a nice thin neck as well, actually. Yeah, flame maple binding on the body. Flame maple pickup rings. So really what you got there is a lot of a lot of wood, a lot of yeah. flame maple. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm loving that telly as well. Or well, T-type, sorry. Yeah, it's a thin line. Roadmaster 56 thin line. Yeah. I've got a real soft spot for T-types. Yeah, this that's is a nice little touch that. Yeah. Very nice. Attention to detail. Yeah, that's nice. Flame maple neck. Very cool. The flame maple friend. How, how hollow new. is this? This goes to the central This, this goes, goes like this. Roadmaster. Yeah. You're doing it right, sir. You're doing it right. Yeah. Thank you. Let me get some sweeps of some of these others. Look at that. That's a stunning looking piece of wood. So pretty. It's a rosewood neck. Yeah. They are so pretty. They really are. Check, check the back. Wow. Oh, I, I uh, is what, so what kind of rosewood species? Uh, this is Santos. Santos rosewood. Santos rosewood, okay. A little bit lighter than Indian, but that's very lovely. Nice. That's it's lovely. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. The body. You guys do some good work. How do you pronounce your brand name? Fibonare. Fibonare. Italian? Perfect. No, Hungarian. Hungarian. I'm the first Hungarian guitar band I've ever met. It's cool. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. We'll see you in that next one. Nice joint. to meet you. We'll see the next That's joint. a lovely next one. I think Dave would like that. What do you think, YouTube? You think Dave would like that? So, Fibonare. Big, tasty wood. See you there. Chappers and Captain on the prowl, looking for new interesting shit. Yes. Uh, we're going to Hall E. Hall E, if you're a NAM person, is uh, the cheap space. So basically all the kind of the weird distributors uh, down and manufacturers there. I've already found a pretty cool um, couple of pedal lines made in Greece. Oh, that's yeah, pretty cool. So I, I think we're going to start stocking those in Anderton. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, and what else was funky down there? I found a really cool, you'll like this, a capo. Yeah. A partial capo. So it clips A semi-cap. Yeah, but it only covers three strings. And you can go from open, sorry, you can do uh, e-tuning. Yeah to either Open G or Dadgad, that depending cool. on which side you put the cap on. Very so I cool. thought that was cool. I found a really amazingly high-end Hungarian yeah, guitar company that I really enjoyed. I thought you were going to say a Hungarian chick. Kill switch cable. It's very cool. Q-Switch cable. So, I'm here with Sense Original Cables introducing their brand new release. It's a Q-Switch system. 
But it's the bottom, then once you hold it, you cut your signal. Once you let it go, you have your signal back in. So you can just tap it and use it as a kill switch. All right, cool. So once you're plugging and unplugging, you don't have the annoying pop. And also, once you hold it, it doesn't engage, so you don't have the risk of jumping in the stage and you forgot that you have it off, and then you, you know, you're looking all silly, like, and you're checking out your cables and your patch cables and stuff. So it's one of the things to worry about it. Okay. It's actually a mechanical system, so you have no loose up signal or like any circuit or anything. So it's pretty reliable, it's pretty strong. You can zap the F out of it, and uh, it works. So, Mr. Pesanato, you in a band? I'm in a band, yeah. I'm What's in a your band, band called? The Drama. Yeah, we're LA based and uh, we have a record coming soon and um, yeah, it's good. Do now, awesome. I think it's important for demonstrators to talk about what they do as well. You know, the gear is cool, but That's the people sure. are more important. That's you know, sure. yeah, I'll yeah. give you a card. Please do this. <laughs> I will film the card though. I'll, uh, I'll film the picture. I look better in the photo than in real life, right? I don't know, man. You look like a better looking Kirk Hammett. When he was young. <laughs> what, what is this you're using here? Uh, yeah, so here's like a Crybaby Classic. That's a chromatic tuner. That's a Sans Amp. The TAC is like a, you know, a preamp kind of simulation. DD20, basic delay, and that's a loop station for a couple, you know, for one of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I feel a little lonely. <laughs> so I can play a couple of bars and just, you know. See, it's, it's interesting to see what professional demonstrators use as their stock gear because he's got to rely on his shit, you know, if it breaks, it's fucked. So he's using traditional, reliable gear. And what you're seeing is Boss and you're seeing Dunlop. And then obviously Fender. 1982, reissue of a really? 68. Yeah. That's cool, man. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. So do you use these live? I do actually. That's I do cool. Use them live, yeah. And I've been using them for like probably two years or more right now. And um, we're brand new in the U.S. market. Probably gonna start shipping to Europe soon, but we have no plans so far yet. But, I have to uh, ask, what's the Velcro for? I have a K insulator here. Uh, it's like a little synthesizer. Yeah, yeah. It's like the little cousin of the Chaos pad. So. Cool, man. I don't have it on now just well, because no. it costs too much attention, more than the cable. Right. <laughs> so I was like, ah, whatever, leave it on. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? Like, no, dude, it's about the cable, it's not about that. Stop yeah. looking at it. <laughs> well, it's been very nice to meet you, dude. Very nice to meet you. Have a hand up just to see you awesome. soon, mate. Take care. Take it easy. Bye.